alleged mistreatment of animals. KEZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn spoke to one student who says the university has nothing to hide. Every class that I've taken, we've had to go through a series of lessons about animal welfare and how to handle the animals. OSU senior Jolie Dickerson, an animal science major, says this is the first time she's heard about the allegations from Ohio-based nonprofit Stop Animal Exploitation Now. She tells me the university takes better care of the animals compared to some private ranchers. We're pretty compassionate with what we're doing. We don't want to have our animals be hurt at any point. Stop Animal Exploitation Now obtained public records that show at least five Five animals, including four sheep, died at OSU during a two-year period. In one case, documents show a cow died by hanging. Essentially, the cow was being restrained in some fashion and fell during that process and essentially hung herself. Sane filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and want the university fined $10,000 per infraction per animal. Dickerson says in the past they have been treated unfairly by animal groups and even harassed. Dickerson says one time an animal group opened the gate for their dairy cows so they could run free. But she says the cows didn't want to budge. They just stayed in their pens. They have good intentions, of course. They just want what's best for the animals. In a statement, a senior university official disputes the allegations and says the animals' deaths were unforeseen. Steve Clark says an independent veterinarian oversees the health and well-being of all their animals, and staff, students, and faculty use the highest ethical standards while using animals in their research and teaching. And they think that we're hiding things from them, and we're really not. In Corvallis, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. Michael, thank you.